So, this is something, guys, you should literally take personally. Because in about five years' time, 90% of men will be invisible. Women only want men that can add value to their lives. That is it. So if you're not a man that can add value to a woman's life, why would she add value to yours and give you children, the kids, the family, her feminine energy, like just things that's really good because having the right woman in your life is highly beneficial, highly beneficial. And women don't want to settle for something that they feel they could, they, they just, they need better. They need better. And this goes the other way around as well. There's very, there's very much so some successful men in this world and they are single and they probably should have a woman. But they don't. And there's not enough good women to go around to fill those spots. So it does go both ways. There's also going to be a high percentage of women who's invisible to a certain percentage of men. But this is the direction we're heading in. Um, women do have their own careers today. Women are going to school for their own careers today. Things is in that direction. It's been in that direction for a long time now. And women are just waking up to the fact that they can do their own stuff. They can make their own money. They can take care of themselves. So, if a man can't step up and add value to her life, and I'm telling you guys right now, man, it's not just about your finances. Like, you're going to have to have your finances obviously on point. You don't have to be a millionaire. You don't have to be a billionaire. It's just... You have to you have to be able to add value to her life in multiple different ways to the point where you're different than most men. And if you can do that, you will get a good woman. And a good woman will get you as a good man. So I think we're living in times of a huge struggle. Like inflation's not helping. Men are giving up. Men are just doing enough to get by, just doing enough, just doing enough to succeed. And uh, you're going to be living through times like that, but you can't have the mentality of giving up. You have to stay motivated. You have to stay hungry. You have to keep yourself up even in down times. You have to keep it going. You have to keep it slugging. That is what women want to see. You don't quit. You're tenacious. You, you don't give up. And if you don't give up, you will break through. If you don't give up, you will break through that damn wall and take what's yours. Women want that type of man. You don't have to be a multimillionaire or billionaire or whatever. But she wants the type of man that is like that. And also, you have to have other certain traits about yourself. It's really not that hard. I just think... I, I really don't know how people today are so off like does that not piss you off <laughs> because things wasn't always good for me and um it would piss me off you have to take that personal your life ain't where you want it to be right now. As a man. You have to get down with it, bro. You gotta get down with it, bro. Down with it. You gotta get to it. You have to have that edge about yourself. You have to be willing to do whatever it takes. To succeed. Because if you don't. You'll just be another high percentage of 
the average man in this world that's going to be invisible. Women are doing their own thing. Women have their own jobs. Women have their own careers. And that's perfectly fine. It's just that men have to work hard. Women also have to start moving better. Like, there's there's good men, there's good women, so we can't... The good, the good ones that are all... We don't... Like, there's people in the world you don't have to tell nothing to. We're not telling the people who's moving correctly anything. This is the people who's not moving correctly. So... Both genders have to start moving better when it comes to the ones that aren't doing it right. Because a lot of people today ain't doing it right, and this is who this is directed to. Everybody has to do better. I have to do better. I've been doing better every year. I've been doing what I'm supposed to be doing. You don't stretch yourself out over something that ain't gonna happen overnight. It's just about having the willingness to grow. It's about having, having the willingness to work through things and to be a better man or a better woman than you were a month ago a year prior like you have to keep being different you have to keep it trucking in this life you don't do that you get left behind so you have to be solid you have to fight tooth and nail for the things you want and I don't recommend stressing over yourself. I don't recommend taking that approach where you're just beating yourself up. Be kind to yourself, bro. Work hard and then be kind to yourself. Work hard, be kind to yourself. Like, that's what I did. It's not good to stress yourself out. It's not good to put too much on yourself when it's just unnecessary. I've done that a few times in my life, but it doesn't serve you whatsoever. But what does serve you is to fully commit to yourself and um, on your downtime, take it easy on yourself. Be kind to yourself. Listen to some great content. Keep your head in the game. Keep your head on a swivel and understand that things ain't going to happen overnight. But if you just keep going in this direction, you stay calm, you work hard, you're doing the things you're supposed to be doing, things I promise you will turn good. This is what a lot of men have to understand today. Women as well, bro. If you look at most younger women today, this isn't all women, just most. Look, like, look at the state of what they're doing. This isn't an opinion. This is a fact. Look at what they're doing. Like All, all you got to do is look at how they move. I mean, how can you take most modern women today, not all, but most of them out there, how could you take that seriously as far as making her your girlfriend or your wife or something else like that when she's doing the things she's doing? As a man, you have to have standards. As a woman, you have to have standards. You come together with someone you like. You talk about your standards. You talk about what you expect. You talk about things that need to be talked about. And if your standards align, if you agree on things that must go a certain way, then you got yourself going somewhere with somebody. And if it doesn't, carry on. Like, would you guys, would you guys accept a, a female that um, wants to party all the time and go out all the time and get drunk all the time and be out there all the time when you're trying to make her your girlfriend? You tell me. What would you guys do? What is this? Somebody called me from no or Halifax. I don't know who it was. Um. But yeah, would you guys would you guys commit to somebody like that? Like when you have your stuff together? No. And I don't think most women who have their stuff together would commit to a man who's running around all the time doing crazy stuff, drinking, 
going out with his friends all the time, doing a whole bunch of stuff. It's not that you can never go out with your friends. It's just you can't. It, 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 it's a certain lifestyle you live that's a red flag. So what do you want? Are, are you a partier? Are you, are you a party animal? Or are you a family man? Do you take family seriously? Or do you take that kind of stuff seriously? Because, I don't know. I mean, you have to want family more than anything else. You have to want a relationship and put your partner first more than, more than anything else. Because some people are in relationships. They don't even care about their partner. They'll go and they'll, they'll do whatever. They'll... It's like they don't even matter. It's just they're, they just have a partner to have a partner and they don't really care. And they just go and do whatever and all that stuff. And it's like, are you serious? Like, there's people out there, bro, that aren't single, but they act like they're single. That's a red flag. Things have to be discussed when it comes to a relationship. Very first thing off the bat. It's actually disgusting the way people move today, for the most part. It's it's disgusting, bro. And that's why this society today is failing so much. That's why I can make a video like this and let you guys know that 90% of men will be invisible within five years if they don't get their acts together. Men have to really put themselves first and their lives first. Like, in a hardcore way. Like, bro, like, the standards are only going up. The standards are only going up in this world. And uh, you you have to, everyone has to step up their game. Women have to step up their game. Men have to step up their game. And whoever steps up their game is who's going to win. So you can lose. You can be average. You can just let things go. You don't care. You can do that. But is that who you want to be? And is that like someone you want to be with? Because I don't. I don't want to be that guy. I'm not that guy. I've never been that guy. Maybe as a kid I didn't care too much. But I was still active. Still played sports. Still had a good head on my shoulders. Just not as good now. But I was never that guy. I was never that man. So why would I want a woman like that? Vice versa. Why would a woman want me if I was that kind of a guy? It shouldn't happen. Things have to align. The stars have to align. Compatibility has to be there. You have to both want the same things, fight for the same things, fight towards the same things. And that is essentially how you're going to get something good going for yourselves. Otherwise, it's going to be a it's going to be a tough one. Um, most people today are entitled. And they think they can do whatever they want, act however they want. And I guess I you can, but that's some single person activities. So if you want to act and behave recklessly and however you want, stay single. You don't even deserve a partner. You don't deserve a relationship. And if you act that way and you think you do, there's something seriously wrong with you. I would suggest go and get evaluated to see what's going on because that is not normal. You lack empathy for your own partner. Your own actions is going to cause damage. It's going to cause problems. You're going to hurt your own partner. You, you, it shouldn't be that way, but a lot of stuff is that way today. So, at the end of the day, it's just about Understanding what you have to do as a man and a woman. And if you move correctly, you will be at the top of the top of the top of the list. You're going to be wanted big time because you're rare. Because you were willing to put in that work. You were willing to become that guy. You were willing to become that girl. And it's going to be what everybody else wants, but everybody else is not going to be able to get it because they're going to have to step up. They're going to have to become like the opposite of yourself in a sense. Otherwise, you're going to be worlds apart. It ain't going to work out. Things will get ugly because there's going to be toxicity involved 
you can't be so far ahead and they can't be too far behind. You just have to get somewhere together. It's about teamwork at the end of the day. And uh, I just think why a lot of the world is the way it is today is because people ain't working together. And it should be that way. People should be working together. People should be coming up with ideas together and wanting to build and create a life of their own. It's the way it should be. But people are so separate today. Women are so against men today. Men's against women today. And it doesn't have to be that way. I personally was never that way. It just takes time to find your person. It just takes time. I, I genuinely felt like my whole life I was ready for my person, but God's timing is impeccable. God's timing is God's timing, and you have to be okay with that. Whatever position you're in right now, you have to be okay with that because it's happening for a reason. You might just have to get over the hump a little bit more, just a little bit more to get that person and for that person to have you as well. That's what it comes down to. Um, you can never second guess the timing of what God will do for your life. You just have to accept it. You have to let go and accept everything that's happening. Be in a good mood. Keep working hard. Stay committed. Eat healthy. Drink the right amount of liquids. Exercise the right amount. Be good to yourself. Be kind to yourself. Stay in a, in, in a positive, uplifted mood. Keep educating yourself, keep studying, keep trying to advance in this world, and you will make the world yours. Why? Because you wanted it. You don't want to be like every other person in this world who is failing miserably, and you want to put your best foot forward. You want to be damn serious about your life. And it's actually fun to commit yourself and to get the results from committing yourself. I don't understand how people think it's so boring. Like, being healthy today is boring for a lot of toxic people. It's just boring. Oh, that's boring. They need chaos. They need drama. They need this. They need that. Being healthy is the key. It is the answer. You're, you're in a state of zen. You're in a state of peace. You don't have to do anything wild or reckless. You can have a good time, anytime, regardless of where you're at. As long as it's a healthy environment. So my last piece of advice to men is to really think your life through, man. Like, really think about things. If you don't know who you are, if you don't know where what you're doing, what you want to do, where you want to go, you just have to really think things through and start to just... You need to get this motivation about yourself to, to, to get going, to try new things, just... You got to convince your own mind that you're on the right path. You're going to succeed. As long as you keep going, as long as you keep fighting, as long as you keep putting in that work, you're going to succeed. It don't happen overnight. You're going to second guess yourself. And you're going to come back too. You're going to second guess yourself. You'll come back too. It really be like that. So you have to live with it. You have to run through things, bro. You have to stay focused like Kobe Bryant. You have to stay focused. You have to stay consistent. You have to demand a certain part of yourself to do certain things. So that's the video. And I don't want to see you guys being in the percentage. What will be, we need a hot, we need a lower percentage of men. That's going to be invisible. We don't need 90% of men to be invisible. We need that to be a much lower percentage and the world will, will see better things. Vice versa, the other way around. Women have to be more strict, be more patient, not be so reckless. And when, when I say women, it's, it's certain types, obviously. So nobody needs advice for those who are doing things right, but there's so many people that's not, and that's, that's, that's for this. So we wish nothing but the best for everybody, and we wish everybody puts their best foot forward, becomes a man and woman they're supposed to be, and... Inshallah, God willing, God bless. We'll see you off the top.